Tim and Anna's back walking down the end of the day. We've been working up at the house all day long. Re really frustrating being a couple houses from the beach and you, you spend your whole day working. So we decided we'd come down, take a dip. We're gonna get some um, chicken wings up here. He's cooking some chicken wings. So we figured before the sun went down, water's still warm. We come down, take a dip, take a dip. I was had the, the GoPro here underwater with the underwater case, so I was trying to get some good um, images of, of some of the fish around some of the rocks under, underneath the water. But one of the issues here is with the waves breaking right over the rocks, a lot of times it kicks up a lot of sand and it's, it's hard to get clarity. It's not as calm. Yeah, black sand. If you were out deep where the, the waves weren't breaking, you'd probably get some really good images. So. I think I might try in another couple days to go out a little further where it's a little calmer, where the waves aren't breaking. See if I can get some good in images of some fish hanging around underneath these rocks. But we figured we'd walk to the other side of the, the beach here and see what we can see. Yeah. Shift suddenly. On the other side, it's not so bad. Yeah. The side where we're coming from, it's not so bad. Yep, so. What was um, Paul telling us about the, the trees at the, this, this um, conservation area down here? He said they're not mango trees. What did, what did he say? It was a, it was a, here you get them this Mangrove. Mangrove. So there aren't that many. Right. So this is a preserved, what I would call a conservation area where they're trying to con they're trying to preserve the, um, the mangrove trees that grow down in here. So you're not allowed to build in a certain section down here where those mangrove trees are. Surprised that it's only two spots. I find it hard to believe, but maybe they've, they've pulled them out or they just haven't preserved them in, in very many locations. Where? That's just some, yeah, just some driftwood. Area, yeah, right? the mangrove, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I took a video last year of um, with the drone all the way along this coast, really a rocky coast, but I guess people try to walk up through there and try to catch stuff, I don't know what. It's not safe. And well, really just because it's not safe doesn't mean people don't do it. Well, but um, you can see the dark sand on this beach. If you go down to Villa and some of the beaches down that way, it's white, but here for some reason it's dark. Cold, cold yeah, I guess it's because it's closer to Supre and it's still a lot of black sand. Like if you go all the way down towards Buckham and Bay or where they're doing that new sandals, they actually have all white sand down there. So I don't know. This seems to be a little finer. The black sand is finer and it's nice on your feet. But um, I still kind of like the lighter sand because it's easier to see stuff under the water. Yeah. It doesn't show. It's not as clear when you're in this water. Kind of stirs things up. Yeah. But um, so this is the very end on the on the southern side of the beach, and you can't go much further unless you want to walk along the rocks. We met a young young um, guy the other day, um, Ash who he does um, spear fishing, so he has a really good set of fins and, and mask, and he has a, a spear gun, keeps a little, little string there where he strings up all the fish. But he goes out here and he spends two or three hours going out all along these rocks and around this corner, around the other side of Brighton. And as he catches stuff, he'll put it on a string. And when he comes back, he might have a dozen fish and a couple lobsters. And then he'll, he'll, there's a couple people, um, some buddies of mine that will wait for him to come back in and they'll buy the fish right, right off the string there. And he also sells a few to, to Huffles here for him to, to, to cook. But um, I told him next time he goes out to give me a call, see what he has, you know, available. Because Annis really likes fish. So he said he gets a lot of barracuda. But when I saw him coming in yesterday, he had some, some lobster. So I'd be interested to see what the tropical lobster looks like compared to what we get up in New England area. But, um, all right, so let, we'll take another walk back the other direction. Um, I think all houses have on one side, and on the other side. 
store. Not even the other side. It's the same coastline. Isn't yeah. It? Yep. It's just. The village just for the mountain. Coming. Yeah. I mean, it's a couple miles. I guess this is the 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 line between where the sand is no longer black from the volcano and it gets more more traditional sand on that end. Because I know they didn't import it in here, so. Oh, they didn't import no. the black sand. No, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the, the, the white sand. Oh, yeah, that was white sand. Right. Yep, so, yep, here, here we are, end of the day, right in Salt Palm Beach. So, we will catch you later.